So, what's up guys, it's Lee and Sam here from Oakley Sofa Gaming. Today is episode 9 of... Eight? Episode 9. Hang on. It was 7... 6 last night. 7, 8... This is episode 9. Okay. We think it's episode 9 of Tutorials Play Badly. I'm sure the picture will be right. Of Tutorials Introduced Badly. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, Health Destroyer and Checkpoints. We, we struggled with beginner logic, and now we're moving on to the advanced stuff. Intermediate. So you might want to... Okay, yeah. Intermediate, not advanced. You might want to pour yourself a drink before this one, guys. Um, if you want to give a character That's object... That's a good idea. We should get a drink. If you want to give a character or object a health status which goes down or up under certain conditions, you're in the right place. Here we'll show you how to give something the concept of health and how to damage and heal things. So if you want to make a game, if you're sat there in your house, mansion, abode, and you're thinking, I want to make a video game, I want it to be gamey, this is the video for you. I want it to be gamey. So I'm going to hand the controller over to Sam, who's never played the story of us before, and we are going to take a crack at this thing. Let's go. In this tutorial, you'll use logic to make health go Visually up. represented, very nice. And go down. Name is QB. QB. Oh, Cuthbert. Okay. Let's Show us that it doesn't work. Just speed run it. Speed run it. Oh. Ah. See if you can get well, that bad, across that first gap. You knew. Oops. He's a murderer. He knew what that would Sorry, do. Sorry, Connie. I forgot to fix that. Don't worry though. Maybe physically. Even after falling such a long way, Emotionally, Connie's she's scarred. <laughs> Look at her scarred no face. There's no way she's so sad. Back up. What we need is for Connie to respawn on a platform if she falls. So that's going to be our next edit job. mode. Kid mode. First, switch back to, to edit mode. Remember to rewind time with L3. As we always do after playing a chippy thing. In order to make Connie respawn, we're going to use a health modifier gadget. We'll oh. use it to make the floor around the platforms lethal. Health modifiers can damage or heal anything that has a health manager. And, as luck would have it, Connie has one built into her logic. Go to the assembly menu. Open it with the square button if it's closed. Select the gadgets menu, the one with the three connected squares. I'm You'll not find that. the health modifier in the movers and output section, no, which is okay. represented by a box Go with away. an Go away. arrow. Now select the button Pause the that video. has a clockwork Pause the video because I need to go up a menu because... I think it's because you're clicking on the dots maybe. Your imp will now... Nope. No, it's... I was in here before and now I need to go out because there's a menu above this menu but I can't seem to access it. Close the... No, move as an output. That just went on to the next one which is the one I want but that didn't solve the problem. Go, go up to the menu. Press circle while you're hovering on it. To the sub menu, go to the purple, snap a circle. There okay, that's how we do things. We learn things. something, and if someone's watching this, maybe they learn something too. <laughs> do we want the heart thingy, that one. The We're all one. learning yeah. together. Yay. I'll be equipped with a health modifier gadget. Stamp it somewhere central, near the floor, using R2 or X. Then unequip the gadget with Woo. circle. Your scene now has a health modifier. Mm -hmm. But to make no, it work as logic. intended, we'll have to tweak it first. Next we'll step. do that in the next step. Let's go ahead and open the health modifier's tweak menu. Hover over it, hold L1 and press square. Here you can set the options for how the health modifier works. That so you can adjust like how, how much fall damage and stuff. Which is shown sure. in the first slider. Fall damage. Right now, it's set to minus 100. 
This means it will take 100 <laughs> health points away from anything it affects. Nathan's drilling again, if you can hear that. Just enough to I don't think Connie he's picked up on the audio, the maybe. I don't know. The modifier mode is per hit. So, 100 health points will be taken away when anything touches it. But since we want the area around the platform to be lethal, we want it to be lethal. We need to set the modifier type to zone. Oh gosh. It's big. Select the zone icon. It is icon big. It just means like any time she walks into that circle, she dies. Basically, so yeah. Its size and shape. That's just everyone. The icon is at the top of the menu and looks like a box in a zone. Look for the zone shape oh. section of the menu, then select the cube. Yeah. You can use the zone sliders to make the zone bigger. Be careful not to make it too tall. The respawn zone should move be it down level a with bit. the pink lines around the platforms. Perfect. If you need to, move the health modifier gadget nearer to the floor. She falls off the other side. Well, yeah, it's bad. There you go. When Fixed you hover it. over the edges of the zone. You'll see white well, arrows. If we're making a real game, that's what you'd need to do. Grabbing these with R2. We've played some creations the where they don't do that, so you fall Using into nothingness you can and make sure the area around nothing the happens. And we're like, this is, this is not perfect. Now let's test it in play mode and I see think... what happens. Let's kill Connie. Let's kill her. Kill her. Perfect. <laughs> if Connie falls off now, no, she'll just stupid respawn code. back on the platform. Before we move on, maybe we should, maybe we should do yeah, something about like this booby-trapped bridge. Finally, we've regained some power. Switch back to edit mode and rewind time with L3. It is. Yeah. See what's causing it? It's that trigger zone. When Connie activates it, the bridge collapses and there's no way across. If you've finished the first logic tutorial, You'll know that the counter is being used to remember the trigger zone has been activated. If you follow the wires, you'll see there's one connected to each block. Oh. These red dots on the blocks are not gadgets. They show that a wire is connected to a setting in the block's tweak menu. Explore the logic for yourself. Or, if you want to move on and get Connie on her way, just delete the trigger zone by pressing triangle over it. That'll prevent any of the logic from explore, activating. Explore, explore the red thing. Then, once so Connie can, can safely L1 make it to the second platform, block and open up move it. on to no, the this next step. This is the cube group. This is not the... Is it just... I don't know, go to that broken bit. Which bit? Left. Yeah. Well, no, should... that's, that's this nothing. is all just, the, you know, the properties of the actual square, not the... To zoom in, use the, the grab cam. Oh. R1. And I can zoom into it even more. I'm zoomed enough. No, that's, that's just the cube group. So maybe you can't adjust it this way. Maybe you have to look at the. Um, Wait, what did you press then to get there? L1 and square to, to tweak it. Because hmm. I think I should be tweaking it at the counter, maybe. That's just a counter, though. Yeah, but that's. So this triggers that, which triggers these to fall. Yeah, I want to know what those red things are. Those are just that's just where the wires like actually touch the shape. I think. You can't just plug a wire straight into a shape. Um. Surely. Maybe you can. This is why I want you to zoom right into the red thing. But the, I did zoom in on the red thing. Yeah, but then you were like straight off it again. Zoom in. The R one. Yes. Grab over R1, that's the block. Too oh. far, too far. So now, put your cursor over it. What is this mysterious thing? Try and move it. R2. It's, just, it's the whole block. It's just the block. You've got to see, there's got to be something in the properties then, because there's got to be something to make those fall. Press L1 and scroll on the block. What's, what's that? What's that eyeball? That's visibility. So it's visible. Oh, movable. When on, this group becomes physical in the scene. In what are you doing? It means the imp can move. What are you doing? It's affected by gravity and so on. No, the, okay, so that's what it is. 
So gravity's happening to it. Because... We get into the trigger there and then it turns on gravity instead of thing force. And then we fall into the death trap we made. So Connie has to respawn. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, Rue. So we can just delete the trigger zone. Need to... No, I don't need to delete the counter because the trigger zone's gone. Yeah. So, I mean, really, if I undo that, you could move the trigger zone so that the thing falls away after you cross the bridge. So when you've got to the next platform. Yeah. Oh, that's so clever. That's going to look so good. So you're like, phew, Test it thank, out God I, thank God I made it across that bridge. But... Uncharted style. Everything breaks at the last second. Yeah. Oh. Oh, jeez, that oh, wasn't safe. boy. We just made... Oh. We just made magic happen is what we did. That wasn't safe at all. Now's probably a good time to show you how to add checkpoints. When playable Ooh, characters like important. Connie activate a checkpoint, the scene remembers their progress. So when they respawn, they'll appear at the last checkpoint instead of starting off at the beginning. Go to the assembly menu, then the gadgets menu. If the last oh, you should have told us that last open, time. We had to figure that out for ourselves. Expand the gameplay gear section with X, then select the checkpoint. Ah, I love that. It's the one that looks you like a here. location marker. There. Now your imp is equipped with a checkpoint gadget. The direction okay, of the so checkpoint you want to be like determines face on. which way a character will face when it respawns. So make sure the front of the gadget, the side with the black outline, is facing the direction you want this Connie way? to face. Yeah. Remove the gadget. That's facing forward, so should be facing button. forward when she respawns. Then open the okay. checkpoints tweak menu. Checkpoints use a detection zone, just like health modifiers. So select the zone size tab from the menu. This is set to a sphere by default, but to make sure it can't. Why is the cube the default? The sphere the default? If the key suggesting these cubes, what's with that medium molecule? Please respond. Please. Above the gadget, you'll see a white move. What game keyboard. are they playing? Grab it with R2 to put the activation zone where you want it. Just make sure Connie can't miss it. Ooh. The white handle shows the direction Connie will face when That's she spawns. Check that it's pointing the right way. Grab it with R2 if you need to adjust it. Make sure that's definitely it. Let's close that tweak menu. Is this, with L1 is this inspiring you at all? Like, now try it out about what type of game we're going to make. The checkpoint remembers your progress. No. <laughs> Sorry, Connie. Well, all right then. I think it's very daunting. Again. Just. But it's all in the name of no, because in your head you're already picturing like that, like a big, like open world thing. First things right. first, we should there make like a two-minute right level. The checkpoint again. Just a little small thing, I think. When you're ready. Go back to edit mode. You wanted me to play that. Hold on. And move on to the next. Wants, to, like... wants us to kill Connie once again. That's not like that. Go on the fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh no. What a twist of fate. Go into edit mode. Pick up Connie. Just pick up Connie. <laughs> this is a hack. Sorry, the respawn should have fixed it. Um, I don't, I don't really know. Play mode? Oh, it's because I don't think you've ever actually entered the trigger zone. Walk into the trigger? Go across the fire? Oh no, we're taking damage. Who makes bridges out of lava? Medium molecule. Sick. Oh, we have respawned in the proper place now. Perfect. Okay, I see. That makes sense. This next bridge looks a bit too hot to walk on. But Connie's a tough explorer no. and she's always ready for danger. So let's give it a go. How ironic. Hmm, okay, that block's too that big for block. Connie to jump over. Better get her back to safety before That's it's clearly too late. a thing. <laughs> let's switch block back thing. to edit mode and see how the bridge is damaging Connie. Move closer to the, the bridge. 
and keep an eye out for any gadgets attached to it. Ah, there's one. A clockwork heart icon, so it's another health modifier. It looks like, instead of using a zone, this one is attached to the bridge. So whenever Connie walks on it, she loses health. If only that block wasn't in the way, she could just delete the block. The block. <laughs> but what could if the block, the block itself could lose health? The triangle we could button give on it there. a health manager of its own and see how that works out. Yeah. Go to the assembly menu, then open the gadgets menu. We no, I did. need to close the gameplay gear section if you opened it earlier. Then you can expand the movers and output section. Look for a heart icon, not the clockwork heart this time. Select it with X to give your imp a health manager gadget. Stamp one near the block with R2 or X, then press circle to unequip it from your imp. To make the health manager affect the block, we'll need to attach it. The easiest way well, to go. attach gadgets to objects is to use what we call surface snap. The way to learn Grab surface the health snap manager with R2 and hold it over the block. All you have to do to activate Surface Snap is hold L1 while your imp holds the gadget. Nice. Wow, look at that. This makes Ooh. it hug the surface of any object you hover over. Now release you R2 to that. attach the gadget <laughs> to the block. You can also let go of L1 to stop using Surface Snap. In the next step, I'll show you how to oh, tweak this health manager. Batman. Now that we've given the block health, let's take a closer look at it. Hover over the health manager, hold L1, and press square to open its tweak right. menu. The sliders here define the block's maximum and current health. Click R3 to play time, and you'll see the health starts to go down. That's because the bridge's health modifier is damaging it. But you'll notice it's going down much slower than Connie's health was when she was on the bridge. The reason for that is this health manager has a one second cooldown. So whenever the block takes damage, it's invulnerable for one second after that. Grab the cooldown slider with X and pull it to the left with your imp. So what happens when it reaches zero? Uh, not a lot right now. But we can deal with that in the next step. For now, feel free to experiment with the health manager settings. Start time with R3 to see your changes, then rewind really it with L3 when it's on zero. to reset the health manager. Once you're done, on to the you next can move step. on to the next step. An object doesn't automatically get destroyed when it runs out of health. So we need to do a bit more work before we can get rid of that block. Let's take a closer look at its health manager. If its tweak menu is still open, close that first with L1 and circle. <laughs> See the output ports on its right edge. Hover over the one at the bottom. That makes sense. The one that has a heart with a cross over What's it. the one in the middle say? This is the no health output, Currently losing which health. sends a signal oh, okay. when the health manager is So that deleted. one you could maybe plug into like an animation where your character looks hurt. Yeah, things. that makes but sense. But right now, we're going to use it to destroy the block. Go to the assembly menu and take a look in the gadget section. It may still be open from earlier when you selected the health manager. Look for a skull icon right. on a button in the oh, movies yeah. and output section and select it with X. Was it uh, well, this is the destroyer yeah. gadget. Oh my god, it we're, we're rolling. Whatever it's attached to. To attach it to the block, uh, we can no. use surface snap. So hover the destroyer, the destroyer over the block. Hold L1 to make it surface snap and press R2 or X to stamp it. Now you can unequip the destroyer gadget with circle. Okay, before we connect it up, let's just see if it works by clicking R3. Oh, it works all right. When time is running, the destroyer activates and destroys the block. Rewind time with L3 to bring it back. Pause the video. We don't want the destroyer to activate until the block's health has run out. 
so to do that. Let's have a look at our, our logic first. So, I don't think we've done anything apart from attach this and attach and stick that on. Well, I've actually attached that to the logic, whereas I don't think he has. I think he just um, stuck a destroyer on. That's it. Yeah, it's just because I'd wired it up already. Okay. So I can wire that back up now because we've demonstrated that the destroyer destroys things. We'll need to connect the no health output port. Oh, did it not destroy just because we had time pause? So hover your input. No, it, it didn't destroy no because um, it should only destroy when it's got zero health. But at the moment, wire. we're not like counting his health this at the moment because I think this is the counter. The gadgets okay. The scene. Or something. Stretch the wire over to the destroyer and connect it to the power port with R2 or X. Great. Time to test it again with R3 and see what happens. When the block's health runs out, it will get destroyed, leaving the path clear for Connie. It's not connected to this. But how do we know how much health the block has left? We could always so look at its tweet menu, to... but you can't see that in I think it's to do the pause because it's already counting its health. So click L3 this is just your display time, health. And I'll show mm. you how to so if you, want, if you press R3 now. Step. I don't get it, he should be dying. No, because I don't think it's counting its health. Just to display it. If the health manager's tweak menu isn't open already, open it now with L1 and Square. When you hover over the menu sliders and buttons, you'll see ports popping out of the side. These work just like the ones on the outside of the gadget, but there are a lot more of them. And you might also have noticed that there's another gadget stamped on the side of the block. That's a number displayer. If we connect a wire from the current health output to the number displayer's input port, we'll be able to see the block's health count down in play mode. So let's go ahead and do that. Hover what? over the current health the output then. port. Drag that screen to the then left. Press R2 or X to create a wire and stretch it to the number displayer. Drag the number. Once you've connected current it health. to its input with R2 current or health. X, you can switch Number. over to play mode and test out the whole scene so far. The input port? Yeah. Excellent. Now we can see the block taking okay, damage so yeah, it's until it's destroyed. But when we unpause now, I don't think you'll show it going down. Once you can get some reason it's to not taking damage. Platform, switch back to edit mode and oh. move on to the next step. If you close down that menu. If you go back to the thing, it's actually causing the damage because it's the fire. Something's obviously gone wrong there. Is it this health modifier? Yeah. So, modifier type, impact, would be zone when the relevant objects are touching. It shouldn't make a difference because the block is still touching it. Yeah, but it's not changed to zone. There we go. So it needed to be in the zone, whereas I think it was on impact, which I don't know what that does. Well, impact should be when you're touching it. You press L3 to bring the guy back. Or maybe... Maybe... No, I wonder what the zone was for impact. No, there's not a zone for impact. No. It is physically touching it. So maybe because it wasn't physically sat on that health modifier? No, because the health modifier is attached to the object, so you don't have to touch the, the modifier, you have to touch the object. Oh, gosh, this is confusing. It's confusing why it's not working, but the logic makes sense. But the zone works. Can we view the zone? Oh, it's a huge zone. Okay, that'll kill everybody. We need to change that to... We don't want a zone, we want it to work on, on the impact. But it didn't. Yeah, but we wanted to. Okay, we'll switch it back to impact. Per hit. Or continuous. continuous. So it should be continuous. 
because we're touching the fire, so it should be having continuous damage. This just goes down. What's this menu? Modify. I don't know why any of this is. Zone so, four off. Okay. Avery's got to cover it in the next tutorial. We've we've missed something or we tweaked something we shouldn't have. Hmm. See what he says next. No, oh, no. Well, you have to go back. Made it through, but she's a bit worse for wear. The burn effect you see on her is. Oh, I hate these. Well. No. Well, Connie made it through. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh. Well. <laughs> if the health manager. An object doesn't automatically get destroyed when it runs. As isn't losing health at all, so go so back another step. A bit more work before we can get rid of that block. Let's we've missed something on this step. Its health manager. Now that we've given the block, maybe health, it was before that. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay. Over Start here. This next bridge looks a bit too hot to walk on, but Connie's a tough explorer, and she's always ready for danger. So let's give it a go. Okay, pause it. Hmm, okay, that block's too big for she's already to taking over. damage. So she, 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 she's she's taking damage. You press play and just double check that our Connie's taking damage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she's still looks so happy even when she's dashed. Let's play again and see if he takes any damage. He's not. He's not. So, continue with the video because we've, we've missed something. Hey. Go back into edit mode. I'm in edit mode. Let's oh, pause back it then. Mode and see how the bridge is damaging Connie. Move closer to the bridge and keep an eye out for any gadgets attached to it. Ah, there's one. A clockwork heart icon. So it's another health modifier. It looks like, instead of using a zone, this one is attached to the Makes bridge. Sense. So whenever Connie walks on it, she loses health. If only that block wasn't in the way, she could make it across. But what if the block itself could lose health? We could give it a health manager of its own and see how that works out. Go to the assembly menu, then open the gadgets menu. You may need to close the gameplay gear section if you opened it earlier. Then you can expand the movers and output section. Look for a heart icon, not the clockwork heart this time. Select it with X to give your imp a health manager gadget. Stamp one near the block with R2 or X, then press circle to unequip it from your imp. So we've had so it, so there's no health. It's destroyed. We'll attach it. Yeah. The easiest way to attach gadgets to objects is to use what we call surface snap. Grab the health manager with R2 and hold it over the block. All you have to do to activate surface snap is hold L1 while your imp holds the gadget. This makes it hug the surface of any object you hover over. Now release R2 to attach the gadget. Okay, to the block. it was just how it was attached. Huh? You can also let go of L1 um, to stop It just wasn't snap. attached properly. Oh, In we the didn't attach step, the heart so to the object. To tweak this health manager. So it looked like it was attached, but apparently it was. Okay. Now that we've um, given the block step? health, yeah. let's take a closer look at it. This one? Next one. Nope. Okay. An object doesn't automatically. And again? If the health manager okay, pause menu it. isn't open. If you switch to play mode and walk across, well, we are up Connie to speed. Made it through. Nice. So I guess that's going to be a Healy. Makes sense. 
but she's a bit worse for wear. The burn effect you see on her is triggered by the current health output from her health manager. It gives you a visual cue of her health. The more sins she gets, the less health she has. I'm not sure poor Connie has enough health left to make it across the last bridge. What she needs is a bit of healing. So let's create a healing zone where she can recharge. This green pad looks like a good place to recover. We can turn it into a healing Aren't zone by modifier. placing a health modifier on it using Surface Snap. You've used so Surface long. Snap before, so this should be no problem. Go to the assembly menu and select a health modifier from the movers and output menu. It's the one with the clockwork heart on it, remember? Now activate Surface Snap by holding L1. Then attach the health modifier to the green pad. Now you can unequip the gadget with the circle button and open the modifier's tweak menu. We need to change it so it heals Connie. Oh. The health modifier is set to minus 100 by default, which won't do Connie any good. She has 100 health to start with, so that will take it all away and make her respawn. Grab the slider with oh, X, just loop drag it to right, wire thing. and set I don't it to know Oh man, trying to lead off. Oh, wire is wire into itself. <laughs> We want the healing zone to heal Connie while she's standing on it. So you That's also enough. need to set the modifier mode to continuous. You can leave the modifier type as impact since you've snapped the health modifier to the platform. And that's all there is to it. Close the tweak menu with L1 and circle and give it a try in play mode. All right. That should give Connie the health boost she needs to cross that final bridge. Oh, she's been through a lot today. So take her through the door to end oh, this she job. Does. She feels better. Tutorial. Oh, no. There we go. We made it through another one. Thank you very much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. We are Ugly Surfer Gaming and we upload new videos Monday to Friday from Dreams Early Access. If you like our content, please hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, share the video on your favourite corner of the internet. Any one of those things really helps us out. Thank you very much.